Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played with the FE-201 Black Edition. This is a tier 7 British premium heavy tank with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on Kitimat with tier 8 as the top tier and 2 artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with a vertical stabilizer, improved ventilation, and coated optics. And I'm using the Jim White Hero Crew which has 9 crew skills and perks. I'm headed off to the open area of the map without too much team support, so I'm not going to get too aggressive here and just take up a position where I can wear the enemies down as they advance. Looks like I turned around just in time. That poor EZ-8 didn't get a single penetration on me there. Overextending without team support in the early game can be very disappointing. I took advantage of the free damage on the distracted enemies there, but now that they're focused on me, I'm backing up so that my overwatching teammates can get shots as well. Okay, so that happened, but I still have quite a few enemies to deal with. Nice shot by my overwatching teammate to help keep me in the fight here. There wasn't anything I really could have done there to overpower that full hit point rate. So the Jim White Hero Crew, which I was using this game, has an exclusive Last Stand skill, which improves all the major qualifications of your tank when your hit points are below 10%. So this actually dropped my reload time at the end there from 3.78 to 3.29, which helped make sure I got that last shot in on the Wraith. I don't always pay attention to the performance increase that this skill provides, but it was definitely noticeable and helpful there. Unfortunately, my teammates weren't able to mount an effective comeback. Wow, a massive 1,388 damage from the enemy artillery. It was pretty amusing how early in this game that Panzer IV S destroyed himself in the water. This was me later that night. Same map, different direction. This area is responsible for most of my self-destructions on World of Tanks. Suicidal dives on Kasserine Pass comes pretty close though. Now let's check the post-game stats and see how I did. This game allowed me a complete stage 4 of my long reach mercenary contract. The Black Edition tanks are perfect fits for XP grinds. For this game I earned 114,000 silver with a 25% multiplier and 4,252 experience. In this game I dealt 3,227 damage, assisted with 322 damage, and destroyed two enemies while blocking 1,430 damage. This earned me a Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. I placed at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 1,070. 
I managed to hit 27 of my 28 shots and penetrate 21 of those. In terms of crew and module damage, I damaged the ammo rack and destroyed the fuel tank in the EZ-8, damaged the gun and turret in the AMX M445, and damaged the engine in the J Panther 2. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the FV201. Those are some strange circumstances for a successful game, and really shows the importance of having a coordinated assault to not give the enemy easy damage. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.